Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Short review because, to be fair, the wife used half of it in a bloody cake for her father-in-law. So it's Glenfiddich, the 12-year-old bottle. Um, what it is, if you didn't already know, not everybody knows, it's a single malt scotch whiskey aged for 12 years. And then it says, flowing in the Valley of Deer since 1887, our family's signature expression is the world's most awarded single malt scotch whiskey. With a unique freshness from the same Highland Spring water we've used since 1887, its distinctive fruitiness comes from that high cut point William Grant always insisted upon. Carefully matured in the finest oak and European oak sherry cast for at least 12 years, it is mellowed in oak marrying tons to create its sweet and subtle oak flavours. Bloody hell it then, I'll go on. <clears throat> I'll read the next bit in a minute. So we'll pour this big bottle out. Bloody hell, that is a small review. So, pour the bottle there. Look at that. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a taster. I'm used to, you know, half a glass. Job's a good one. So, really get the uh, aroma from it straight away. Creamy with a long, smooth and mellow finish. Our 12-year-old is perfect example of Glenfiddich's unique space-side style and widely proclaimed as the best dram in the valley. And then it goes on and on. Yeah, that's about enough of that. So, as you can see, for what little bit I've got, it is gold in colour. <sighs> Certainly a fruitiness on the nose. Dare I say some pear, but... It says here on the taste, characteristically sweet, fruity notes developing into butterscotch. I love butterscotch. Cream, malt and subtle oak flavours. And it says a long, smooth and mellow finish. Well, for the amount I've got here, I'm not going to know that. Bottoms up. Ooh. Definitely getting the fruitiness on the flavour. Strong back end to it. Oh bloody hell, burnt my tongue. And my god, that's wallet man. Whew. Feeling that. So, say it was a dinkum glass, but let me see if I can get some more out. What I can say is uh, for the tiny right, uh, tiny little bit I had. It was very nice, you know, the, I love the fruitiness to it, hint of pear on the nose, certainly a, a good back end, a warming from it. Um, the funny thing is, I went to, uh, with Sainsbury's, I went to um, a tasting course in London, got there, me and my manager, 120 people there, and I thought, you know, we're never going to get a sniff at this rate, but anyway, they separated us into groups of 25, 30, whatever. And um, the first area was whiskies. So they had 12 different whiskies. And they had the Spittoon. And I've got to be honest, there was only one. And it was really strong peat, smoky peat. I couldn't take it, it was rancid. But the rest, woof, 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 woof. Beautiful. I mean, I'd already had a bottle of wine before I came away from that. That was the first area. And uh, that was a legend. I, you know, I've never drank so much in my life in one day. Maybe apart from my wedding day. And I was still standing up. Still got home. And uh, yeah, I felt drunk for two days afterwards. Whew. So, obviously an award winning uh, whiskey. For me, nice, nice nose. Um, for what bit I got of the taste. Yeah, it, was, it tasted nice. I love the fruitiness. And that quite a strong back end to it. Um, 
sadly not a more thorough review because obviously there wasn't much in it, you know. Out of five CLs, I probably had two. So, you know, a real snifter of a review. But, you know, I can tell from the review it was quite nice. So, out of five, we'll give it about a 4.3 out of five. And it, it sells a hell of a lot. So, And I was hoping to get some more review stock from uh, somewhere. I think it is William Grant, actually. And they were doing reviews things. I got a Dram Buey off them, but that's the only thing I got. I didn't get any more, so they obviously thought my reviews were rubbish. Hey, oh, you can't win them all. And I did get a wood in there. I don't know if it was oak. It could have been oak. It could have been silver birch for all I know. But I did get the, a bit of an oak, a bit of a woody taste to it. And that's it for this review. Short little review. Uh, but yeah, it was a short little bottle. Let's get on to some beer. And that's it for this review. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Cheers. Ooh, Jesus. <laughs>